Bitter internal debate exploding right now into public view as Republican House members stand poised to pass a doomed bill that funds the government while defunding Obamacare. The result could be a government shutdown only 11 days from now. And there's deep division within the GOP over how far the party should go. And joining us now, Republican Representative Sean Duffy of Wisconsin and Republican Representative Peter King of New York. Uh, guys, thanks very much for coming in. Let's have a serious discussion right now. I know you two disagree on many aspects of the funding of the federal government. Uh, Congressman King, you think it's kamikaze. You think it's General Custer crazy for the Republicans to be linking the defunding of Obamacare to continued spending of the federal government after October 1st. Tell us why. As part of an overall strategy, it makes no sense at all. I understand why the Speaker wants to couple him in tomorrow's bill so we can get at least get it over to the Senate. But as an overall strategy, it makes no sense because we know that it's not going to make it out of the Senate. We know that even if it did, the President would veto it. And to me, this is not the proper venue for that. Uh, it makes no sense at all. We know we're going to lose. And again, whether it's Custer, whether it's Kamikaze, or whether it's Gallipoli, or uh, whatever, we are going to lose this. And we have so many winning issues against the President. I think he's a wing within our party, led by people like Ted Cruz, who have been really, as far as I'm concerned, carrying out a fraud with the people by somehow implying or even saying that this strategy is going to win. They know it's not going to win, and now it's over to them in the Senate after tomorrow. We'll see what they do. Either they put up or shut up. Uh, what about that, uh, Congressman Duffy? Uh, you think uh, Congressman King is right? Well, first off, I do think that uh, we should include the defunding of Obamacare in our funding package. And the reason is, you've had conservatives in the Senate who have been talking loud and drawing a crowd asking for a fight on Obamacare. And as your viewers know, Wolf, we've had this fight in the House for the last two and a half years. We voted 40 times to delay or stall or defund Obamacare. But because of Harry Reid in the Senate, Senate conservatives haven't had this fight. So they've been asking for it. I think it's only fair that we in the House give them a package that defunds Obamacare and let them, uh, let them debate it over there, let them fight it over there. If they want to filibuster, have at it. We give them the opportunity. All right, Congressman King, go ahead and respond. Yeah, I don't really disagree with Sean. I mean, I'm, I'm against the overall strategy, but I understand why the Speaker is coupling them tomorrow, because it's the only way we can get a bill out of the House. And uh, Ted Cruz and Rand Paul and Mike Lee have been saying, if we just send it over to the Senate, they're going to resolve the whole thing. They're going to win this fight. Well, we're giving it to them. We know they're not going to win it, and it's going to come back to us in the House without uh, the defunding in it. But let them explain to the American people and to the Republican Party why they were saying all summer that this was a winning strategy. So I understand why John Boehner is doing what he's doing tomorrow. He really has no choice. But again, it's going to come back to us sometime next week, and then we have a decision to make. And I'm saying we cannot let the government you know shut down. And, and Wolf, if I may, Congressman Duffy, that, yeah, Carl, hold on, hold on. I, I want you to respond, but I want you to respond to Carl Rove, the Republican so-called political architect, who wrote in the Wall Street Journal this today. He says the strategy that a lot of Republicans in the House want is also crazy. Any strategy to repeal, delay, or replace the law must have a credible chance of succeeding or affecting broad public opinion positively. The defunding strategy doesn't. Going down that road would strengthen the president while alienating independence. It is an ill-conceived tactic, and Republicans should reject it. Uh, you want to accept that advice or reject that advice from Carl Rowe? Well, as an end strategy, Carl may have some very good points, but where we're at right now is we've had these conservatives in the Senate who have been throwing bombs at Peter King and I in the House asking for a defunding of Obamacare uh, uh, funding package. So what we're doing now is giving them the fight. Uh, Wolf, if, if the Senate sends us a package back that fully funds Obamacare because uh, Senate conservatives have failed in their mission to hold the Senate, then we're going to have a conversation about how we move forward. I'm not one who believes how we will shut you the government down. That happen, if that happens, Congressman Duffy, if that happens, if they send back full funding of the federal government but no reduction in spending for Obamacare, how will you vote on that so-called continuing resolution to keep the government afloat? No, Wolf, I think they'll send back a package that is fully funded beyond sequester levels and will fully fund Obamacare. What we'll do in the House is there's a number of options that we have. We will volley the ball back to the Senate with some Obamacare reform and spending reform, and they'll have to decide how they, uh, how they vote when we respond uh, after this uh, back and forth. So you're willing to go to the brink, is that right, Congressman Duffy, and including, if necessary, shutting down the federal government in order to prevent funding for Obamacare? Wolf, 
America does not like Obamacare. We conservatives in the House and the Senate don't like it either. But that doesn't mean we have to shut the government down. But it does mean we have to engage in this conversation and fight over it. And if we don't have this fight, we can't make any progress. Listen, we don't want to shut the government down, but we want to have the debate. So it's just a, it's just a debating point? Is that what you're saying? You're not really going to shut the government down at the Senate, which is Democratic controlled? Is, does not uh, stop funding Obamacare, you will allow the government to remain in business? Is that what I'm hearing? So, so well, for all I know, Harry Reid and Mitch McConnell are going to sing Kumbaya together. They're going to find an agreement as they have a filibuster over in the Senate. They might negotiate this thing out and send us a package in the House that works for us. I don't know what they're going to do. And listen, I think Peter King and I can't figure out how the Senate behaves as House members, nor can America. Uh, go ahead, Peter King. Uh, respond to what we just heard. Well, actually, I, I basically agree with Sean. I mean, you know, we're on the same page. Neither, of us, neither one of us wants the government to close. We're going to do all we can to keep it open. And I would just say, if anything good comes from all of this, when, when Ted Cruz and Rand Paul and Mike Lee fail in the Senate next week, maybe finally we Republicans will have ended their influence. It's, we as House Republicans should stop letting Ted Cruz set our agenda for us. He should stay in the Senate. He should keep quiet. If he can deliver on this, fine. If he can't, then he should keep quiet from now on, and we shouldn't listen to him.